Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage device identities in Azure Active Directory. A device identity is an object in Azure Active Directory. This device object is similar to users, groups or applications. A device identity gives administrators information they can use when making access or configuration decisions. Azure Active Directory provides a central place to manage device identities and monitor related event information. You can access the device's overview in Azure AD Admin Center. Sign in to the Azure AD portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. Under Manage, click on Devices. In the Devices Overview page, we can view the number of total devices, stale devices, non-compliant devices, and unmanaged devices. We can also find links to Intune, conditional access, beat locker keys, and basic monitoring. Device count on the overview page don't update in real time. Changes should be reflected every few hours. Click on all devices. Here we can see the list of devices that have been joined or registered in Azure AD as well hybrid Azure AD joined devices. From here, we can complete device identity management tasks like enable, disable, delete, and manage. If you have rights to manage devices in Intune, you can manage devices for which mobile device management is listed as Microsoft Intune. If the device isn't enrolled with Microsoft Intune, the manage option won't be available. That uh, you can see here. First, let's look at the steps to enable or disable an Azure AD device. Let's go to Windows 10 machine. In the last video, we have registered this Windows 10 device to our Azure Active Directory using Azure AD registered method. Open command prompt and type dsragcmd slash status and press enter key. Under user state, we can see workplace join option is set to yes. That means this PC is registered in Azure Active Directory. Now the question is why you want to disable a device? Disabling a device prevents it from authenticating via Azure Active Directory. When we disable a device in Azure Active Directory, users get access removed from their account. They won't have any authorized access to any resources mandated and protected by Azure AD Device Management. Disabling a device revokes the primary refresh token and any refresh token on the device. Let me show you what happens when we disable Azure AD registered device. Let's open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. Press enter key to access Azure AD Admin Center. We can see user can access Azure AD Admin Center without entering his username and password. Since single sign-on is working, it didn't ask for the username and password on this Azure AD registered Windows 10 device. Close the Microsoft Edge web browser. Now let's disable this device and again check the same. Let's go back to Azure AD Admin Center web interface. There are two ways to enable or disable devices. First, the toolbar on the All Devices page after you select one or more device. Second, the toolbar after you drill down for a specific device. At this moment, we will use first method. 
select the device which you want to disable. In our case, I'll select BYOD device. On toolbar, click on disable. Click yes on confirmation pop-up window. We can see the confirmation message. We have successfully disabled device BYOD. We can see no under enabled column. Go back to Azure AD registered Windows 10 device. Again, open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type HTTPS colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com and press enter key to access Azure AD admin center. We will receive message that something went wrong. We can see the reason as well. Your organization has disabled this device. Now, single sign-on won't work since we have disabled this device in Azure Active Directory. Close the web browser. Go back to Azure AD Admin Center. Now, let's enable it. We can use the same steps to enable the device which we have performed when we disable the device. But we want to see the second method. So I'm going to click on the device name BYOD in our case. If enable option is not available, then refresh the page. Click on enable to enable this device. Click yes on confirmation pop-up window. We can see the confirmation message. We have successfully enabled the device named BYOD. Here we can see the device ID and object ID. We can use a device ID to verify the device ID details on the device or to troubleshoot via PowerShell. At top bar, click on all devices. We can see the device enable status is changed to yes. Using the same steps, you can also delete the device from Azure Active Directory. Deleting a device also prevents it from accessing your Azure AD resources. It removes all details attached to the device. For example, BitLocker keys for Windows devices. And it is a non-recoverable activity. We don't recommend it unless it is required. So it is highly advisable to disable the device instead of deleting it in the first place. To delete any device, you just need to select the checkbox in front of that device and click on delete. It will ask you for the confirmation and just click on yes to delete it. I'm going to click on no since I don't want to delete that device. Next, we want to see the steps on how to remove devices that have been joined or registered in Azure Active Directory. So let's go back to a Windows 10 computer. This computer is registered in our Azure Active Directory using Azure AD registered method. And that we can confirm it from here. Click on a start button. Click on settings icon. Click on accounts. Click on access work or school accounts. And here we can see this computer is registered in our Azure Active Directory using the credential of our user, user1 at msapsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Select the account and select disconnect. Are you sure you want to remove this account? This will remove your access to Azure AD resources and it might also remove some data stored on this device. Click on yes to remove this device from Azure Active Directory. This will take few seconds to remove the account from this computer. The account has been removed successfully. Let's go back to Azure AD Admin Center. Click on refresh. Uh, we can see the device is still there. So again, I'm going to click on refresh. Okay, it is still there. So I'm going to refresh the web page and let's see what happens. We can confirm that the device is successfully removed from our Azure Active Directory. Click on device settings. 
Here we can see we have some settings which we are going to cover in the next video. So that's all for this video on how to manage devices in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.